Hello guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to tell you five tips on how to train effectively, efficiently, um, keep up with your normal gym routine in when you're away, when you're away from home basically, when, any, when you're taken anywhere that's out of your um, home environment, your home gym, etc, etc. Okay, so I'm sitting here in my bowl of porridge post cardio guys, so bear with me because I'm going to eat this on the way through. We'll get the food in. So, number one tip for me would be plan what you're going to train. Even I know you plan every other day of the year if you're, you know, organised. But plan what you're going to train when you're away, first of all. First things first, keep up with that routine. Set in stone what you're going to do, what you're going to, what part of your body you're going to train. Here, you can see I'm in Bromley uh, Fit for Less gym, training my shoulders and back. I had planned that already. I had planned what exercise I was going to do. Um, and I was looking forward to using the deadlift uh, platform here as well, but there was someone on it. So first things first, uh, plan what you're going to do, plan what you're going to train. Write it down, set it in stone, what days, uh, what muscles, etc, etc. Number two, my second tip is ring up a gym, research gyms. Um, what gyms are around, lo what are local to where you are going. Um, there are a couple of gyms in Bromley where I was going away. Uh, this is my first choice. I've been here before. And it's a welcoming gym. It's rare to go in a gym and feel welcome. And that's one thing that this gym does do is make you feel welcome. Um, so I sorted out a free couple of days of free passes um, at this gym. And I was sorted. I was set up. I was ready. I knew when I was going to train. I knew when I was going to train in the morning. And I wasn't worried about how I was going to get into the gym. Because some gyms, it's a bit difficult to get into some gyms. There's a lot of members only gyms out there. I don't know if it's the same in America, but there's a lot of members only gyms out there. In England, for example, DW, you have to go with a friend and you have to pay tenner on top of going with a friend, which is ridiculous. Um, places like Pure Gym, you can get free passes too, but I'm not a fan of Pure Gyms. Um, and I haven't tried many others. What other gyms I've tried? Um, there's a few uh, individual gyms that I've trained at, which are quite nice. But again, it's about £10 per entry. That is my second tip. So ring up your gym, uh, do your research, have a look what's around and how, how to get there. Okay, so my third tip is buy yourself a little peel box, a little supplement box. You can get those uh, Go Stacks, um, which are the expensive version. So you've got like four, four or five compartments, big and small, so you can put protein in one, pills in the other. But I just went to Sports Direct and bought myself a bigger um, four tub stack and it was about two or three quid from Sports Direct and I put in my L-carnitine, green tea, um, my BCAs, fat burners if I needed them, uh, my whey protein, my creatine, everything that I could possibly need I had in that stack. So I was prepared, if I felt like I, I was just going to do cardio on, on, a, on an off chance, then I took my fat burners um, and I had my morning stack because I know full well if I don't take my morning stack I'm not up for training and I think a lot of gym goers out there um, are the same and if you're not in the habit of training every day that's something that you've really got to get used to is the night before you train lay out what you're going to take to the gym lay out the supplements you're going to need if you take supplements it's not a necessity to take supplements guys remember but personally I take them I think they're beneficial have everything prepared for the night before you are planning to go to the gym and then there is no excuse you can't walk past your gym pile and go oh I can't bother because you feel too bad okay, or something like that so that's my tip number three tip number four is more about staying motivated while you're away because I know you get sidetracked by a lot of things while you're away whether it's food whether it's your partner whether it's your friend whatever it might be a sidetrack with another activity um, stay motivated, keep a picture of your dream body, of your body in good condition or even take a journal and write it down every morning. You know, if it's really important that you train on your on holiday, stay motivated. Keep pictures right on your phone, on your screensaver. I put the Carl Wilkins on my screensaver when I'm, when I'm lacking in energy. Okay, stay motivated, write a journal, take a book to the gym every day and that will keep you on top of things. Tip number five, do not give a shit what other people think. 
do not give a shit. If you're on holiday, you want to train, you go and train. Bugger everyone else you're with. If they think you're sad for training while you're away, then that is fine. That's up to them to feel bad. Okay? Be yourself, be strong, keep training hard. Thanks for watching this commentary. So this is the squats uh, for my leg day. Started off with squats, hit some deadlifts. This was on the powerlifting platform, which I really wanted to try on the first day. Didn't get to it because um, there was a guy on it who was doing 80 million sets. Gym etiquette, thanks mate. Really blow me, um, blew my plan out of the water. But anyway, you get over it and you carry on with what you're gonna do. So squats, moved on to hamstring deadlifts, which was good, felt a really good squeeze, and I buggered my hamstrings, so they were really sore after this one. Four sets, smashing it out, loved it. Isolation movements, so hamstring curl and leg extension. Um, four straight sets of 12 reps, which felt good, and I was up in the weight with each set. I was going heavy on this one, really squeezing back. Um, this was probably what bugged my hamstrings. I went, you know, heavily and probably normal on this. But I love this machine. Um, I wish we had a line leg curl or more line leg curls in more gyms in England, but why don't we have it? I do not know. Then it was plie squats and uh, static lunges, which I'm going to speed up for you a little bit because I went up to 30 to 40 reps on it, so it's long, but here goes. Okay, so 20 kilograms on this one, just squatting down, getting my heart rate up super high, which, which I like doing a bit of cardio when it comes to legs. And then I moved on to lunge split squats, I'm going to call them, but I call them static lunges on the next one. And it was 12 on each leg. And that was it guys, that was my two workouts while I was away. I hope you learned something from this. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. But if you did, please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. And here's my aftermath kind of chat to finish it off. Thank you guys and this was The Long Walk. See you soon. What's going on YouTube? Uh, I'm back home and I just thought I'd uh, finish off this video by telling you what I got up to for the rest of the day yesterday. Um, it was a superb weekend, really nice to get away, and um, I'm on my phone again because my camera's still broken, I broken. I apologise, but uh, I'm just going to be a star and go to the shop that I bought it from, no names mentioned, Curry's, and get it hopefully sorted. So, I've been looking at buying new cameras, but you know, the ones I want to get are like three, four hundred pounds, and seeing as I'm just starting off with this, I thought, I'm not going to invest that much that much in a camera yet when I'm, I'm just getting to grips with everything so I'm on my phone uh, and I am let me show you what I'm having to eat bear with me oh no I can't turn it around I don't think I am eating there you go uh, rice cakes tuna dairy Lee triangle and salad sorry about the weird angle I'm just turning my phone around so you can see it and I've got some um, Light, 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 lighter than light, light, light mayo on it um, for a bit of um, moisture. So yesterday we ended up going on a ridiculously long walk. I mean, a five mile walk. Smashed about 13,000 steps. So it was good. It was after leg day, it <laughs> shot my legs. I woke up this morning and I had nothing in my legs. It was crazy. Uh, but we came back and we carved up. We had a really nice pasta dinner. So overall, really good weekend, really active, um, not too indulgent. Had a, had a little bit of a, a refeed, but not too gorgy, gorgy. And came back this morning. And yeah, so I'm back home. I'm going to try and upload a video uh, that I tried to upload before we went away. Um, tomorrow's my radiotherapy. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling good. Had a couple of uh, restless nights, but I don't know, maybe subconsciously I'm worried a bit at the back of my head. Um, but I feel alright, I feel good, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Eating well. So today we're going to smash, tomorrow we're going to smash it out. I've got work tonight. And yeah, let's, let's get the week cracking. Anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. See you soon.